Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and in this episode, we are migrating microservice ASP.NET application on Docker containerization environment. This is our sample application, hotel management. In this application, you can check the status of the room like ready, clean up, or dirty. For example, you want to book a room 103 for 23rd. Now, this room has been booked for your customer. If you double click on this reservation, you can change the status confirmed arrived checkout. Say confirmed and you can provide a percentage of the payment like 50% or 100% I say 100% say ok now you can see the status has been confirmed for the room 103 this is asp.net web application including SQL server database in backend you can download the source code of the application free trial is available for 60 days so we are going to migrate this application on microservice docker containerization environment you can find application source code including docker compose file and docker file on my github account i will share this link in video description so let's begin i have already downloaded this project from my github account so first let's look at the docker file i am using a dotnet framework 4.7.2 image from microsoft and i am changing a working directory to inetpub www root on container exposing port 80 on the container on line number 5 i am copying all files and folders from current directory to inetpub ww root on container so that's it for application asp.net web form interface so now let's look at the application backhand sql database we are using the docker compose file to build a image or container for the sql database environment so let me explain the docker compose file for you this is the docker compose file of the project and I am creating two services hotel room db for the SQL environment and hotel app for the ASP.NET framework. For the database service, I am using MS SQL Server Windows Developer image from the Microsoft. This image is available on Docker Hub and I am creating a container with name MS SQL Hotel Room and I am mapping host port 1533 on container port 1433. I am defining some value in a environment for this service. This is the password of SA account. I am accepting all license and term during the container creation. And finally, I am attaching a database called daypilot MDF and LDF file is available for this database on C temp location of host machine. I am using the Docker volumes C temp on the host machine. This is for ASP.NET framework. I am building a image called hotel room apps and uploading on local Docker registry. This image is going to build by using a docker file that is located on this location this is the same docker file that i just explained and container name will be hotel room and port is going to map 8080 this container or service will not start until hotel room db service or container start it means that if hotel room db service encounter any issue or doesn't start then hotel app service or container will not start and finally we are using a default network and at for both the docker service so finally we are ready to build this application on 
containerization environment this is my test machine windows 2016 i have already downloaded and pulled the required image for this project on my machine so it will not take longer time to build the application on docker containerization environment let's build the application by using docker compose file so we are ready to up our environment now it successfully created a image for asp.net framework interface now it is creating services for ms sql and app interface sql server has been started successfully login with sa account one database has been attached this is the database and these mdf and ldf file attached to this database looks like that our environment is ready to use let's open the another powershell console yes both the container has been created for the application you can access the application on port 80 let's try to access the application on the browser this is the ip address of this machine excellent our application is live on docker containerization environment let's play around suppose that customer want to book a family room and room number 201 and 202 is ready for the vacate and customer want room number 202 for 7th of september so click on box okay so this room is not confirmed yet and customer paid 100 percent rent for this room so double click on it and confirmed paid 100 percent say okay so now this room is confirmed for mr john let's take one more example go to single room one room was confirmed for the devops now they are ready to check out say okay now checkout has been completed for the room 101 now let's look at the some basic troubleshooting step or scenario mdf or ldf file is available for this application under app data folder you require to copy both the file on c temp location this application using a connection string to establish a connection between app and database container this is the connection string and we are using the hotel room db service as a data source of this application we are using the sa username and password and other common settings if you encounter any connectivity issue between application or database container please make sure that you are using the correct data string for your database in this video that's all in next video we are moving the sql database service on azure database service so that multiple docker container can connect the stateful data thanks for watching have a nice day bye